I'm 45 years of age right now. At 45, I feel better than I did when I was 25 or maybe better than I was when I was 20. What's up, everybody? My name is Jim Jones. Most people know me for Diplomats. I've put on a tremendous amount of muscle. I was 167, now I'm probably about 195. I'm wishing to put on another five to seven pounds to take me back up to the 200 pound threshold. I've actually been working out since a teenager. I was playing a lot of sports when I was younger. But really when I got with Chrissy, um, she was like, baby boy, you're gonna have to put some weight on. This is not gonna work. Um, so she was actually the first person to actually take me to a gym and teach me some workout regimens. When it comes to a regular fitness day, uh, we choose to do calisthenics. We like to call it around the world. Pull-ups, dips, and push-ups. So that's what we're showing you today. All right, let's go. Let's get into this VanFit workout. We started with a pull-up superset that it's a weighted pull-up, 25 pound dumbbell bar in between my legs, which adds an extra 20 on me. 10 pull-ups, drop the dumbbell, uh, 10 leg raises, which adds the core to that exercise. Yeah, I love pull-ups. Pull-ups gives you that uh, ultimate pump. It is a pull exercise. Uh, it hits the arms, uh, but it definitely hits the back, and you could do variations of it for it to hit other parts of the body also. Next, we did a push-up superset. I uh, do push-ups off the dumbbells, set of 20, directly from after the push-ups, go into a squat curl. Uh, squat on the way up, you go right into a curl, do uh, 10 and 10. Shout out to C.T. Flesher, one of the greatest fitness inspirations of all time. He says, arms every day. And that's what I've been doing. <laughs> you give me a flex? I feel like people uh, see it. A little bit. Now we're moving on to the dips. A uh, couple of variations of dips, but dips are predominantly hitting the chest and the tricep muscle. And of course, it helps build the, sh the shoulder area, but it's definitely one of the best chest builders ever. We're gonna go into a uh, core dip exercise where you're actually doing I call it a crunch dip where you're actually crunching the knees into the chest and doing a dip at the same time. Um, it's not as easy as it looked, but it's definitely a, definitely a dope core builder if you're looking to get that six pack going for the summertime or get your beach body together. Then you have one exercise that's gonna help you. And I also added a bonus core exercise while we were at the dip bar, something you should use. We have a, a core exercise that we actually utilize the dip bar for because the dip bar usually is set so low to the ground. So uh, by me hanging and doing leg raises, I don't have the room to go put my legs straight down. So that's actually a little bit tougher because you just focusing directly on the core muscles as you engage in your legs going upwards. The sled, hell of an exercise. It's a push, it's a pull. You're engaging actually your full body, arms, shoulders, chest, back when you finish with this exercise, but it's predominantly working on your legs. Oh no, that sled is hell. I mean, I feel it in my soul, as my man Doug would say, it's a soul snatcher. Um, but it's one of the best exercises you actually can do in the gym. Um, it's definitely a full body exercise um, from your toes <laughs> up to your head, but it's great for cardio. Um, I'm not. I don't really like to do too much cardio. I'm not gonna come in and get on the treadmill for 30 minutes. I'm not gonna climb up the Empire State Building on the stair mask. This is not a cheat code, but this is a way to get cardio in without having to do the excessive uh, treadmill. But plus, it's different levels of working out. Um, certain things work for certain people. Where I'm at, I don't necessarily need the treadmill. I'm not trying to lose too much weight. I'm actually trying to gain muscle and the push and explosiveness of using the sled is what that exactly does. It helps you build muscle, sort of like a sprinter to a person who runs marathon. At 45, I feel great. I'm not gonna stop working out. I'm gonna keep pushing this initiative. I encourage everybody to get in the gym, stay in the gym. There's no age limit on it. Matter of fact, it's gonna help you live a little bit longer. Thank you for coming out. Uh, thank you for coming to Iron Rain CrossFit and the Vent Fit Gym. It's been a pleasure showing you my uh, calisthenic workout that we call around the world. Uh, I encourage everybody to stay in shape. This is the fountain of youth. This is the gym. They say health is wealth. What's the good of having money if you're gonna have to spend it on doctor bills? Remember I told you that. <laughs>